What is going on guys? Kyle at Outlaw Harley Davidson here. Hey, I really appreciate you tuning in this week. We got some good stuff for you. We're gonna do that tutorial video on the Boom GTS system. Let's take a look. Okay guys, so your Boom Audio GTS system is gonna have several different buttons. Um, I'm just going to go over quickly what each of these buttons on your screen does. So your main home button, if you hit that when you're in media section, uh, it's going to take you to your, your home screen here. This is your home screen. Um, your music button obviously is going to be to access any music or any media that you have hooked up to your uh, Bluetooth. Any, anything that's Bluetooth through your phone or your uh, uh, flash drive. If you're hooked up to a flash drive in your USB, you'll be able to select that. Obviously, when you touch that, it's gonna give you the option to go up here and then change uh, where your music is coming from. Back button, and then go back home. Um, your navigation button, obviously, gonna take you to your main navigation screen. Um, I'm gonna delve more into this screen after the brief overview and then your phone, if you want to go to a quick, easy way to connect your phone, just hit that phone button. If you're not connected, obviously you can go yes. And again, we'll delve into that here in just a minute. I just want to cover each one of these buttons individually. Uh, this button over here on the left side is going to be your audio settings. Uh, it's going to take you to where you can route your audio from your speakers to uh, your headset if you have one plugged in, all that good stuff, volumes, speaker volumes, rider headset volumes, passenger headset volumes. This is also where you adjust your speed by, by volume or you turn that off. If you want your loudest volume while you're going down the highway, you're gonna to wanna to leave that on volume speed four. And then obviously your treble and your bass settings as well. Uh, if you go back to your home screen again, you're gonna have another information button. That button used to be on your right side hand controls and now they've made it up uh, on the actual screen. Um, it's going to give you a couple of different screens inside of that button. Uh, your info screen is going to give you first time ever uh, starting in 2019 with a digital mile per hour readout. Um, if you are in navigation and you have a navigation uh, location locked in, it's going to give you start time, end time, how many miles you have, have left to travel, uh, all those good things and then obviously your elevation and your ambient air temperature as well your engine info uh, this is going to be where you set your uh, where your text resets your distance since your last service every time you get a service uh, check oil it's always going to say check oil unless your bike's running and then it'll tell you oil pressure okay or not okay <clears throat> and then your EITMS is your parade mode uh, on this motorcycle right now it's enabled um, and maybe as a little tidbit we'll show you how to turn that on and off too your next screen, if your motorcycle has RDRS and is equipped with the RDRS system, you're going to get a real-time tire pressure monitoring screen. Uh, for a long time, this screen only, uh, only came on your CVOs uh, when they came out with this new screen. And when they came out with the RDRS, that added that to the screen. Very simple. Uh, obviously gives you your tire pressure reading in real time. Trip summary is a cool... A uh, cool little piece here, uh, basically, again, if you have something locked into your navigation and a location uh, where you want to travel, it's going to give you average speed on that trip, average mile per gallon, how much fuel you used and how many stops you made on that trip, also how many miles you traveled. Um, pretty nice little feature that you used to need to break out your calculator for. Um, so that's your information button. It's going to have a whole bunch of different things in there. Uh, basically giving you information about your uh, motorcycle. So settings uh, or your setup, it's going to give you a couple different options uh, where you need to navigate to your audio settings. Obviously, it's going to take you to that same button as, that's on your home screen on the left side. Either way, go back to your setup, go to your display. You can change your brightness of your screen. Automatic is going to uh, adjust it depending on uh, you know how much ambient light you have around you. Um, you can turn that off and then go bright or dark, just like that. All right, we'll leave that automatic. Button brightness, same thing. You can adjust the brightness of your buttons on the side. 
colors, you can change all your different colors, automatic, colors day, colors night, or you can change your theme colors here, orange, blue, red, green, purple, or green, blue, this motorcycle is red, so we're going to leave it red. And then high contrast colors, turning that on and off, is going to give you a white background instead of the black. And then you are done with that part. Full keyboard, large keyboard. That's going to change the size of your keyboard when you go to navigation. And go to search. It gives you a bigger keyboard. I prefer the smaller keyboard because it's going to be easier to type in an address because it'll give you the full keyboard instead of just pieces of your keyboard. Bluetooth setup is where you can go to show you all your paired devices that you have paired to the motorcycle. Um, adjust ringtone, select a ringtone, load ringtones, all that good stuff. And then back to your main screen. Uh, so your other button over here is going to turn on and off the screen. If you hold it down for three seconds, it turns off your Boom GTS system and just gives you your barn shield and a nice time display. So if you want to ride and, uh, in some quiet, you can do that. Just touch it again to turn it back on. delve into what each of these main three buttons are going to do. First thing I'm going to show you guys is how to connect your Bluetooth though. So you're going to want to get into your phone. You're going to want to go to your Bluetooth settings in your phone and have that open so you can see a list of the, the uh, devices that you're trying to connect to. You're going to say connect to and add new device. It's going to search for your Bluetooth device. Brings your phone up. Pairing in progress. Really simple guys. Hit pair on your phone. Pair on the screen. And pairing of my iPhone is successful. Uh, you can set an emergency number. And that way somebody, if you get in an accident, somebody knows uh, exactly what number they need to call. All that good stuff. Now if you allow your contacts and favorites to sync. Basically, it's gonna stream all your contacts, all your phone calls, all your text messages uh, straight to this bike. So you're gonna have everything that you have in your phone on this screen. Um, if you go back and you wanna play your music off of your phone, you go to your music button open up your Pandora or whatever music you'd like. Make sure your volume is all the way up on your phone. That way you get full volume on the motorcycle. And then you can turn it up and down on here, leave your uh, phone on full volume, and just put your phone in your uh, storage area up in front of you. And then you can pretty much forget about your phone. Uh, all phone calls and everything are going to stream to the bike. Your text messages are going to stream to the bike. If you do not have a microphone, however, uh, you will not be able to talk to anybody. You'll be able to answer the phone call. You'll be able to hear them through the bike speakers, but you will not be able to talk to them and they will not be able to hear you. Um, so you can accomplish that a couple of different ways. You can get a Bluetooth headset uh, that is Harley Davidson and Cena certified. Uh, that will connect to the motorcycle as well as your phone and then all three things work together. Um, on your street glide and road glide standards um, and your special models, you're going to need to buy the WIM module to go in, in the front fairing. Um, and that's going to allow the Bluetooth connectivity between your phone, the bike, um, and the screen. Uh, as well as your headset. So. Um, you also have a different way to do that if you have a touring bike like a Tri-Glide, a Limited Ultra, or a Road Glide Limited. Um, you're also going to have the uh, uh, wired communication plug-in. You can plug into that and that is going to serve as a microphone so you can talk to people uh, when they call you and you're riding your motorcycle. Um, 
there is audio routing and that's what I kind of showed you guys real quick earlier you go to your audio routing and now if you're gonna want like if you want music and your media to go through the bike but you want all your communication and all your prompts to go through your headset you'll have to go into your audio routing and move everything over to headset if you want all of all of everything to go through your headset you just move everything over to headset and then nothing will come through your speakers anymore pretty simple stuff there uh, now on this motorcycle we don't have a microphone or a wired headset so we're going to leave everything on your speakers um, and with that that's pretty much how you set up your bluetooth and, and stream everything from your phone um, just remember that if somebody does call you, uh, don't answer the phone, just clear the phone call if you do not have that microphone. Uh, next up guys, we're going to go into your navigation system and everything that this brings you. Um, guys, if you can work your maps icon in your phone and your iphone or android you'll be able to navigate this it's very very easy and it works almost exactly the same way um, if you want to put in an address very easy go click on the magnif uh, the magnifying glass and then go to search and then if you want to search for our address here at outlaw harley davidson you'll go 3100 northwest Jefferson and you really shouldn't need to put in the whole thing it's basically gonna uh, auto populate any addresses that are close to that around you and then you can just tap the on that and tell you right there route is being calculated you can go to options and you can select fastest shortest twisty or scenic route the route is being calculated. that way you can decide how you want to get to whatever destination it is that you're trying to get to uh, you can t it, it, you can select it to have show route so it can show you your route before you actually take it or simulate route uh, which will actually give you uh, your turn by turn and all that uh, round trip is going to give you there and back the same uh, directions that you need to get there and also get back. Uh, alternate routes is going to basically make sure that if you take one way there, you take an alternate route back, um, which is either different or same. But we'll leave alternate routes off. Avoidances, if you want to select avoiding highways, avoiding toll roads, ferries, tunnels, uh, any of those. Uh, right, like it always comes with seasonal restrictions and unpaved roads. Those are always going to be avoided. Um, so, and that's your, your factory default. So you can, if you set it something different and you want to take it back to factory, just hit restore defaults and then go down to your next one. Um, you can export this trip to, uh, to your phone. If you have the HD, app you can uh, you know connect with people and and that's how they share their rides to that HD app is by exporting it and having the Bluetooth connectivity to do that the route is being calculated. if you go back to this screen you can also save any address one you can save it as home so now when I if I hit your communication button and I tell the bike destination home that's the address that it's going to bring up auto populate and give me the direction so I can get home uh, you can also save that as a saved list if you want to do like a dealership list of all the dealerships that you go to there's already a tab in here which i will show you but you can just add that to the dealership list hit save and it will it will save an extra list for you or you can Please hit go to the that will take you straight to where you need to go obviously it's not going to give us any turns because we are at outlaw harley davidson right now but um very very easy guys very simple to do um and then you have your settings up here to basically stop pause if you want your location so it zeroes in on where you're at right now you can do that um, show you your destination any maneuvers that you want to make, all that good stuff. Um, that's going to tell you your turn-by-turn -turn directions. 
and then if you want to stop this there's a little stop sign uh, i know with the older system if you had something locked in and you hit stop it would still talk to you still try and tell you where to turn and all that stuff if you don't want that to happen anymore guys just hit the stop sign hit stop it deletes everything that's in there and basically clears out anything that you had in there um, you can pinch in to zoom out pinch out to zoom in very clean display guys very easy to use like i said earlier so like if you just want to select an intersection to go to you can just tap on the screen there the wood is being and that's going to basically take you right to where you tapped on the screen um, very very easy to use guys like i said if you can use the icon on your phone for maps whether you're android or iphone guy or gal um, you're going to be able to do this pretty easy. That is all I got for you today, guys. Hey, I really hope you got the information you were looking for when you clicked on this video. Do me another favor, though. Hit that like, smash that subscribe. When we get new content out, I want everybody to be the first ones to know about it. We'll see you next time.